Ah, there we go. Hello everyone, Helena here with your shiny shelf. <laughs> there was all sorts of weirdness going on. It's a car one today. Um, and a shiny shelf, you know, sort of push, prod, nudge, just to help you have a good, good day. And uh, what occurs to me, uh, and this is on the back of working with a couple of clients yesterday and a couple of conversations, what occurs to me is that most of us do a thing and then move on. Most of us prepare something, turn out that draft, think about something, but don't give ourselves time to go back and revisit and review that actual thing. So, for example, I've just in the car been sat here speaking out, um, recording two blogs that uh, I would like to get out there. Now, the whole thing about that is, is the inspiration happened in the moment, but we still need to go back and actively tidy it up, put it into a shape and a form that is digestible out there. Trust me, the amount of rambling and everything else needs to be stitched back into something that is more palatable. And I think a lot of us actually tick off something as done when we uh, complete the first activity. But the first activity is never the full activity. So here's my invitation for today is to recognize where you are leaving enough room to actively, thank you very much, um, is to recognize, say hi so I know who you are, I have no idea. Um, I'm assuming you're Sarah, Taruna or Kat, I have no idea. Um, so, so, so the whole purpose of this is to act actively start thinking about anything you do for the first time it is always a draft. So once you get that in your head, then you go, a draft still, hey, I thought it might be you. Um, so a, a draft still needs to be then molded into the essence that is palatable. Always stage one and put in stage two. I find that most people bypass stage two and want to put it out there, which are, <laughs> and as if by magic, where you're at. So the whole point about this, uh, as Sarah's just saying, she's just literally at the edge of a first draft that's ready for review. So I'm saying when we start to be kind to ourselves and actively put the space in to do that review, to go and tweak it with a clear, fresh mind on this is the process I'm doing, that becomes a much easier way that creation kind of lives with you, if that makes sense. So yesterday, I think I spoke about putting some buffer time in. It may actually be that you do a whole bunch of review um, first drafts during the day, but if you leave five to 10 minutes to just actively sit and review even the what are the first drafts I've done? What needs looking at? What can go out? That in itself allows you to then schedule those review periods in if, they're, if a longer period of time is needed and allows you to know and understand what you've created today. And both of those things make you feel like you are in control. We're never in control. That's like a big myth. But, you know, it makes you feel like you're in control. And that can be the difference that makes the difference to you actively knowing that you are progressing towards the point that you wish to get to. So my shiny shove for today is uh, you are writing drafts all of the time. Are you putting review time in that allows you to make the most of the first drafts that you are actively doing? Many blessings. Have a brilliant, wonderful day. Tell me what you're working on. I would love um, to know. Uh, let me know. Bye.